Hey everyone, welcome to this, your next installment of the Golden Gate Tech Talk series. This is your source for informative and timely tech topics about Golden Gate software, data replication, and cloud data integration. The industry-leading data replication software for more than 20 years, Golden Gate is still innovating today and helping thousands of leading brands get the most business value out of their data. As a multi-cloud capable replication engine, Golden Gate helps customers maintain seamless integration across their public clouds. But what makes Golden Gate really special is the breadth and attention to enterprise class solutions for databases, cloud, big data, NoSQL, and streaming technologies of all kinds, not just Oracle. Golden Gate's rock solid foundation is the best in class for data high availability, high speed transaction replication, and data warehouse loading. But modern data challenges require the most innovative solutions and Golden Gate delivers on world-class data lake congestion, stream data processing for real-time ETL, and advanced stream analytics that include geofencing, time series processing, and machine learning integrations. As a platform for modern data integration, Golden Gate just can't be beat. Well, that's about it for the intro. Let's get on with today's tech topic. Hey everyone, welcome to this edition of the Tech Talk series. Uh, today's focus is around Golden Gate for Oracle Cloud Marketplace. Uh, interesting new offer that we just uh, brought to market uh, recently. Uh, very important addition to the Golden Gate portfolio allows us to uh, launch, provision, run, execute Golden Gate from any of the global uh, Oracle Cloud data centers uh, using our high-speed infrastructure including networking, compute, uh, storage, as well as a uh, way to uh, drive uh, the remote processing uh, for uh, data replication uh, through uh, those endpoint connections in the cloud. The Golden Gate infrastructure itself is built on the same rock solid reference architecture that we provide for our on-premise customers. Uh, that's available in both the microservices edition as well as in the classic architecture. Uh, one of the unique things about the microservices edition is this is all fully REST enabled uh, with built-in graphical user interfaces running at each of the microservice endpoints. So these can be controlled uh, very similar to the way you might control your um, uh, router or your switch as part of your home network with the built-in web interfaces for those. So a uh, very flexible, easy to use uh, way of uh, managing the Golden Gate infrastructure, allowing you to support any of the Golden Gate use cases uh, on top of the Oracle cloud infrastructure. The uh, OCI marketplace itself is a very uh, simple uh, to use part of the Oracle Cloud. Uh, you can uh, very simply navigate uh, to the landing page for Cloud Marketplace, do a quick search for whatever software you're interested in, in this case, Golden Gate, and then uh, uh, very quickly provision uh, with a couple uh, clicks of the mouse. And then uh, you have the software ready to be used for you in the data center of your choice as part of the Oracle Cloud. This is literally just a few minute process uh, to get this going. And that's what we're gonna show you today. So uh, rest of uh, the video today will be to take you through step by step the process for creating and deploying Oracle Golden Gate in the OCI marketplace. So first up, we're gonna go ahead and get logged in to the Oracle Cloud infrastructure directly using our Oracle uh, Cloud ID. And then uh, once we get logged in here, we're actually gonna uh, land directly into the dashboard for the OCI uh, infrastructure. And the first thing I'm gonna do is just verify that I have uh, access to the compute environments, uh, which will ultimately be where I'm provisioning the Golden Gate software. So as you can see, uh, I already have uh, an instance set up in my environment, uh, looks good. And now I'm gonna go ahead and go to the OCI marketplace and get started with Golden Gate itself. So this is the public uh, facing view of the OCI marketplace. I can do a quick search for Golden Gate, uh, brings up the listing. Uh, once I click through there, I see uh, all of the details information, version, uh, information related to Golden Gate, and I can go ahead and choose to launch the stack. And once I'm in the stack launch screens, I can uh, select the default version, change my compartments. So I'm able to uh, navigate around and um, choose exactly which compartment I want to deploy into uh, according to my identity and the rights that I have. Uh, there's a terms of use that I will accept and go ahead and uh, launch the stack here. Uh, once in, I can provide additional details which will uh, define 
uh, some parameters that uh, Golden Gate uses internally uh, once the image is deployed. And so here I'm just giving it a listing name. Uh, that's how it'll show up in my uh, OCI listings. Uh, it's going to be deployed in my compartment by default. I'll click through next here. Uh, once I'm into this next screen, I begin uh, to provide some additional technical details. Uh, for example, uh, the display name uh, for the host itself. This is the um, instance of the Oracle Golden Gate uh, itself. I can uh, choose uh, the uh, name for the, um, uh, the DNS. I've got uh, network settings, for example. In this case, I'm just using the default network that's assigned uh, to my compartment. Uh, that will uh, require a VCN that's previously set up. Uh, I'm choosing a subnet that maps into the data center that I'm deploying in. In this case, it's Phoenix. And then um, once there, I'm going to go ahead and uh, go through to select the compute shape that I'm interested in. So the, for compute shapes, I've got a variety of uh, choices. Uh, in this case, I'm just going to select uh, the 2.4. Uh, standard image, uh, which is fine for this demo, but I can go larger if I need to, which will dedicate more compute resources to Golden Gate. And then importantly, uh, we always suggest to assign a public IP address uh, for Golden Gate here. This will allow you to uh, directly access the microservices uh, over uh, public IP range. Uh, the Golden Gate deployments themselves during the setup process allow you to identify uh, both source and target information. And so we support a variety of uh, different Oracle database versions. You can actually uh, give them uh, names here, select the uh, versions. This will uh, map in uh, downstream client libraries that we're actually providing for you directly on the image. Um, for shell access, it's important uh, to bring your SSH key that you've got. Uh, this could be uh, through a tool like uh, Putty, for example. Uh, just provide uh, the key in here, and this is what you will use later to SSH in uh, directly to the image. Uh, so with all of this defined, we just verify that everything looks good. Uh, click Deploy. At this point on the back end, we've actually got a process running uh, using uh, Terraform for those that are interested in, in how we've done this and uh, it will run for a couple minutes. I've accelerated it here. Uh, ordinarily, this may take from three to seven minutes. Um, what you'll see is a series of logs, and if everything goes well, uh, it will uh, show succeeded as the state. So that means that the software is out there. It's part of your compute. Once we go in and take a look at this, um, we can actually see we've got the new marketplace instance that we just defined and created. It's loaded in there. Um, the software is actually uh, up and running in here. There's no install necessary. Uh, you can see uh, we have a public IP address that's been assigned. That was the checkbox setting that we uh, declared in during the setup stage. I'm gonna go ahead and copy that here. Uh, we're gonna come back to this uh, later and actually use that to connect to our web uh, interface. But first, we actually have to get the uh, set of credentials uh, from the image itself. So this is the last SSH step that you'll need. Uh, but here we're accessing a JSON file, which will allow us to then go directly through uh, the web browser and uh, pull up the Golden Gate uh, login information. Uh, once here, the credentials that we've uh, SSH'd from the JSON file can be used to log in directly uh, to the Golden Gate Service Manager. And once we sign in and the page gets loaded, you can see that we've got a whole series of microservices that are already up, they're running, instances have been created, uh, deployments have been identified with the parameter uh, values that you've identified uh, during the deployment stage, and we can actually begin to go to work at this point. Uh, so this is the latest and greatest version of Golden Gate. If I click through here, uh, you can see that I'm pulling up now the administration server, same username and password that's been provisioned. Uh, we can see uh, the ability to administer, monitor any of the environments that we've got here within Golden Gate. All of the microservices are available to you here. Uh, from this point forward, it's basically just the process of getting going with Golden Gate and following the normal operating procedures. So with that, I'll just quickly uh, flip back to the previous screen. Again, these are all the microservices available to you by default. 
Well, that's it for this edition. Uh, we took less than eight minutes here, showed you how to get started with Golden Gate on OCI Marketplace. Might take you a few minutes extra when you do it yourself for that provisioning time, but other than that, this was pretty much all the steps and exactly how simple it is. Hope you've enjoyed, catch you next time. Hey everyone, thanks again for tuning in to this edition of the Golden Gate Tech Talk series. Be sure to check out all the other cool tech talks that are out there and stay tuned for more as they become available.